Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to move over to what is known as Taylor's Operations in West Louisiana to talk about the Battle of Forche Crossing, located in Laforche, Louisiana, between Union Lieutenant Colonel Albert Stickney and his 838 men from the 23rd Connecticut and 26th Massachusetts Infantry, and Confederate Colonel James P. Major and his cavalry brigade of unknown size from the District of Western Louisiana from the 20th to the 21st of June, 1863. After a failed campaign of disruption and sabotage and his failed attack at Milliken's Bend, Confederate Major General Richard Taylor had failed to do much damage to the Union rear lines and began heading south and east to the Tech Country to try and draw Union Major General Nathaniel Banks' forces. Taylor decided to break off Confederate Colonel James P. Major and his cavalry brigade to raid Bayou Laforge. The fated opponent today is Union Lieutenant Colonel Albert Stickney, who was assigned by Union Brigadier General William H. Emery to Brashear City to stop the Confederate raiders. Stickney arrived at Laforge Crossing early morning on June 20th. Ford scouts encountered increasing Confederate resistance as Confederate forces moved into the area. Meanwhile, reinforcements from Terrebonne arrived to refill Union losses. By morning, the earthworks of Laforge Crossing were packed with Union troops waiting behind the earthen walls, a railroad embankment, and a levee. Confederate Colonel James Major's troops assaulted defenses on June 21st, and the hours ahead contained waves of combat and artillery dueling that ended by midday. The Confederates seemed to have realized they would not be able to take the crossing, so they disengaged and turned back to Thibodeau. Casualties for the Union included 48 killed, wounded, and missing, while the Confederate forces lost more than 219 men killed, wounded, or missing. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.